we're going to get it figured out and get it fixed. And, and at this point, we still don't know what happened. The ballot mystery continues in Midland. It's been 10 days since the discrepancy was discovered, and the county still has no explanation for it. That's our top story tonight at 6. Midland County officials say they have been working around the clock to get to the bottom of what happened to those more than 800 ballots. Today we've learned after re-examining each voting machine, they found one lone loose ballot. Tatum Gwynn has been following the story closely from the beginning. Tatum, what is next? Well, Crystal, their next move depends on what the recount tally sheets reveal. Every step the county has made so far has been under the direction of the Texas Secretary of State. First, the county compared the number of every person who checked in at a voting center to the voting total numbers reported by each voting center. Next is comparing every tally sheet looking for discrepancies from those. They believe whatever those results reveal will determine where the discrepancy happened and what their next step will be. One key thing that the county could rely on are those digital copies of every ballot filed. Those machines have that information and if the county finds that there are in fact ballots missing, they could go to those. Bottom line, whatever the county finds, they will likely seek a court order of some sort. What we exactly seek from a court might depend on, on what we find. That's one of the things that we think is really valuable here is that we would have that digital backup. And so I think it, uh, it gives us uh, a sense that, that ultimately, if everything else fails, we would be able to go back mm -hmm. and, and find any ballots if they were missing. To clarify, County Attorney Malm says that if there are physical ballots missing, there are digital copies stored on every single voting machine that have not been touched. It would take a court order to review those digital copies, but again, the county has not moved forward with a court order, and they won't until their investigation wraps up. Well, you know, Tatum, we've been hearing from a lot of viewers. They are not happy with what's going on with the recount and the ballots. Some have called for another election. They want to re-vote. Is that possible? Well, technically, yes, but it is still premature. To, to make that decision, to, to go forward with that. That would be up to a district judge, and anyone who files to contest an election must lay out every single piece of evidence, very specific evidence at that, and then a district judge would rule one way or the other. As far as the county goes, it seems as if they do plan to go before a judge for some sort of court order, but again, we don't know exactly what they will be asking for until their investigation wraps up. Now, of course, everybody wants to know, is there some kind of timeline on when all of this will happen, when they'll wrap things up? Yeah, well, sooner rather than later, of course. State law shows that anyone, including the county, has 30 days from an election canvas to file for a contest. So, you know, time will tell. All right. Well, we'll wait to see more about that, and uh, ho hopefully we'll keep on top of this and let you know what happens. Absolutely.